welcome back everybody to the continuation of our let's play of captain of industry so um i actually wanted to do this on the video but it was just such a simple build i just skipped it um this is the extension for the additional materials over here we make the science packs the lab equipment over here we make the construction parts mark ii and over here we make the vehicle parts and yeah it wasn't as impressive of a build as i thought it would be so i just made it quick over here just put it down, bish, bosh, bish, and we're done with that. We also have now two of the more advanced science labs over here. These do require some of the lab equipment to be built beforehand, before you can build these. Um, and these are just the more advanced labs, um, which you do need to unlock some of the Tier 2 science. Now, I've already started to research some of the Tier 2 science, because if you've watched up here my power demand every now and then, like if, if all of this is working over here, if all of this is producing something, uh, we do end up with a decently high power demand. So I thought to myself, you know what we're going to do today? We are going to make one of these new power plants. So once you unlock Tier 2 Power or Tier, tier 2 Science, you get access to Power Generation 2, um, which unlocks Power Generation from Coal, uh, which also unlocks um, the Mechanical Power Storage, which is just basically a big flywheel, which sounds bloody amazing. And, of course, you get access to uh, the basic desalination. Also, Thunder. You get access to Thunder. <laughs> now, the coal power plant over here does require quite a bit of coal, actually. Now, if you look at it, um, it does require 18 coal to make 48 steam. The power plant we're probably going to be making is probably not going to be too big. Um, but let's just start sketching it out and see where we end up. Um, also, I didn't really want to use the groundwater pump over here to get the groundwater out, even though we could. Oh, does this replenish? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Or does this move? Hmm. Maybe we could use the groundwater. Do we have some groundwater? Oh. I guess we're going to make the power plant right over here then. Um, then uh, we do need to do something to get up there. Because as we can see, they actually, you know what? <laughs> we can't tap it over here. Uh, and then we just make the power plant maybe over here? This corner? Sure, let's try it. Let, let's see how big it will be. Um, we will only know how big it is once we start placing it down. Now, if we take a look at the recipes, we can already see that we have some natural ratios in here. Actually, let, let me just go back to the research real quick. You can already see over here that one boiler makes 48 high power steam or steam high. Uh, you need 24 steam high to make one megawatt of mechanical power. And then you can convert the mechanical power into actual electricity. And that's also pretty much how power plants these days actually works. Um, you just take something that, that creates a lot of pressure. With that pressure, you rotate... Um, uh, a mechanical part, and the mechanical part then turns like the generator itself, and the generator then makes power. Technically, you could <clears throat> technically you could also uh, rotate this generator by hand, but yeah, the human is probably going to be way too weak for that. Good. So it's one boiler to two high pressure turbines to four power generators, and then we also have these flywheels. Now these flywheels are basically our accumulators. They are perfectly good if um, they can store the amount of power. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird. I'm, I'm not quite sure how we are going to set it up yet. Um, but you know what? There's only one way to do this uh, one step at a time. So um, these parts over here are not too big. Let's just... Oh, uh, I have to press shift still. <laughs> I forget. I always forget. Let's just put the parts down that we know that we need. Oh, these are smaller than expected. Um, I thought for sure they would be bigger. Um, but we can just use copy tools and stuff like that. Um, just to make more of this. There we go. There we go. And then maybe the flywheel. The flywheel is freaking huge. Uh, that's good to know. Excuse me. How was everything always on pause and now suddenly it isn't? <laughs> is there, is there a button I'm pressing that does this? It's this button. Never mind. Okay. Um, yeah, kill this. Yeah, just, just, just delete that. There we go. 
Sorry about that. Uh, that was unexpected. Yeah, they're waiting for the material to be picked up. Yeah, start everything in pause mode. There we go. So here we go again. One more time. <laughs> well, now I know. Now I know. Um, I think we can also flip these. Let's have a look at that again. Um, EQ, F and R. F does nothing. I was kind of hoping we could actually flip this thing so that the pipes would line up. That would be super. Uh, but doesn't seem to be the case. Um, but we should definitely flip these around so that they are at least looking the correct way. By the way, you might have not noticed yet, but I just can't get enough of this game. This game is so much freaking fun. There we go. There we go. There we go. I just record episode after episode after episode because I just can't get enough of it. Uh, good. So that is technically already the power plant part. Uh, where do we get the steam from? Is it from over here? Uh, the boiler. Here it is. Uh, one boiler, please. I'm just going to place you over here for a second, just so that we have you. Um, and we could get the groundwater pump or the seawater pump. I guess we're going to take the groundwater pump and we're just going to do that over here. Now, the groundwater pump over here makes 48 water every 60. A boiler needs 48 every 60. Sure. <laughs> I guess that pretty much tells us where we are going to be building this thing. Um... So, back to front. Um, now, we do need a bit of a pipe over here. And actually, the more I look at this, uh, we do need probably a bit of a loose storage buffer as well. Um, yeah, put this thing over there. And then we are going to get the boiler. Now, I would love to hook it up like that, but that will sadly not work. But I think we can do it like this. This should be fine. And then we need a pipe. There we go. In it goes. And then we need... One small conveyor over there. Yeah, this thing is sadly a little bit too big. We can't really build it any way, other way. But that is fine. That is probably fine. Technically, we could use this one for another power plant, but I think it will be fine. Uh, we do need some access for the coal. Now, the coal will be coming from over here. That's perfectly fine. I've also already started to build a little bit of a retainer wall over here. Uh, because at some point in time, we will have to dig down over here. And the retainer wall over there will help us to make this hole not into like a massive, massive hole, but into a more controlled hole. Uh, and controlled holes are usually the best holes um, or something like that. Good. Uh, let's copy over this thing over here. And then let's have a look. Um, so big steam comes out over there and then cold steam goes over there. Um, you know what we could do probably? You place it over there and then we can connect these up like this. That actually works. Uh, and then let's just get rid of these real quick because we don't need this anymore. Now, I don't think there's such a thing as uh, a conveyor for mechanical power. So we can't really do it like in uh, Timberborn. Where we just have this massive crankshaft going around in the in the whole um, on the whole map. Um, but this over here should be fine. Good. And now let's have another read one more time at what the flywheel does. So, flywheel. Flywheel is able to store 80 megawatt seconds worth of mechanical power as inertia spinning mass. It slowly loses power only if all other entities on the same shaft are idle, not consuming or producing power. So I guess we want to have like one big shaft. And if we look at the base currently, our base is currently not really doing anything with power. Um, so how much do we want to store? You know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, because I tell you what, we can probably just extend this thing out as much as we please. I'm just going to put in two for now. Um, so that we know what we have. Um, maybe we need four. Maybe we need less. I don't know yet. But we will figure that out as it comes. Also, yeah, that's fine. That connection doesn't need to be connected. And then what do we have? We got low steam output over there. We got the high steam input over there. So let's go back to the pipes. There we go. This pipe will be moving over there into there. And then this pipe from over there into there. Done. Um, I don't think we can combine the pipes. Can we combine the pipes over here for one centralized output? Let's give it a try. I mean, this over here, that is going to be the boiler. And the boiler produces 36 um, exhaust per 60. And then every high pressure turbine is going to put another 24 on top. Um, do we already have the better smokestack? I think the better smokestack was actually a researcher over here. Yeah, there we go. 
the large smokestack. Let's 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 give this a whirl. Um, sure. And maybe start building this thing over here. There we go. Because this looks correct. Good thing is we don't really need any kind of power wire or something like that. So we're good with that. It's also close by to these machines over here. So they will be fine as well. Another thing we can make, and we should maybe start thinking about it. Uh, where is that? It's on the vehicles, isn't it? A fuel station. Uh, we can finally make a fuel station over here. So sure, let's put it down. And I think I also now understand how the fuel station is better. The fuel station is not that... Um, trucks and excavators will go over there to fuel themselves up. It's the other way around. You can assign a truck to a fuel station, and then the truck over here will pick up fuel from the fuel station and goes to the excavator. So it's definitely better. So these excavators over here can just sit in the pit over here. They can start digging, digging, digging until they don't really care to dig them anymore. Uh, and in the meantime, we just have like a little truck over here that comes around. Um, we can actually already assign one. There we go. That goes around, refuels things around them. Good. So construction over here is going to take a while. Uh, the research is also going to take a while. Um, but that should be fine. This looks freaking insane. Okay. We got a whole bunch of sliders over here again. Uh, oh, boy. Um, what is this? That's input, output, auto balance. Um, uh, I think it will be fine. Okay, over here, we do want coal. Uh, keep it full. There we go. And this little thing over there is already working. There we go. Here comes the coal. Good to see that they can actually reach over this pipe to give this thing. Oh, this thing is already going. Oh, God. Um, high pressure turbine needs to transport to output steam low. No. <laughs> um, uh, can, can, we, can we stop you? Can we? Here, pause. There we go. <laughs> uh, don't do any work yet. We, we're not ready yet, I think. Are we ready yet? Wait, we've got everything in place. No, we're missing the exhaust. Um, sure. Um, that was okay. You know what? If we already got most of the exhausts in, then we're just going to do like two exhausts and we're just going to call it a day. So you get one over there. Uh, and then you get one over there. And then we just need some pipes. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of fast. I think we also need to uh, harvest these trees over here a little bit because we do want to dig through. You can't build over a tree. You do have to harvest it, and a tree is good resources. Um, so you do definitely want to do that. Small excavator has no fuel times tree. Let me guess. Now that I have a refill station... Um, oh, God. <laughs> Did I just break it? <laughs> Okay, there's one truck coming over, hopefully at some point, and I'm not quite sure how good he is at refueling, but I guess what we should do now is um, make some more of these refueling stations then. So, you get also one, and I guess we are also already prepped over here. There we go. Uh, also, unpause these. Boop, and boop. There we go, there we go. And these over here in the sand pit, uh... Sure, a truck will be coming over to service you soon. I hope. Um, let's see, maybe maybe we can see the truck. Maybe he is over here somewhere. Maybe, I have no clue. <laughs> what I do know is here, let's assign a truck over there. And let's assign one truck over there. And well, they are bringing over the fuel, so I guess it's fine. At least this will prevent the excavators now from, from driving around on the map. Which is lovely. Um, okay, you are assigned to the fueling station, so let's have a look at you. So you're going over here now. And then fill her up and keep going. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So this over here will probably be going out soon. Um, then, oh, this is all still paused. I'm so smart. There we go. Could you please fix it? Uh, and then, of course, um, after we put all of this down, we this is going to be 36, 1,200 megawatts of power. Uh, that's fine. You store... Oh, that's megawatt seconds. That's actually quite a lot in the flywheel. I think we've overdone the flywheel a little bit. Um, should be fine. Should be fine. 
And this also means that we can't probably shut down uh, those diesel generators over here for a while. Maybe they take priority. I don't know yet. We will see. Um, but for that, we need for, for some for most um, the remaining parts over here. There we go. So this thing is in. And then, please, the remaining parts. Ah, here they come. Good, good, good. And in they go. So let's give it one more try. On pause you. On pause you. Okay, it's it's working. That's good. This thing is spinning. That's good. That's going up quite fast. So how does one then set up what we need? Uh, didn't it say something about... Let's go back to the research screen real quick. We will probably be wasting something. Um, there is turbine control. Once manually enabled for a steam turbine, it prevents it from wasting steam by automatically shutting it off in case there's a large excess of mechanical power on the shaft. So I guess this thing over here should turn itself off if we don't need more steam. Max output is 100%. Connected shaft, that's good. Throughput is 17%. Uh, we finished pipes too. So, how do I know when this thing... Oh. Did it turn itself off? I can see that mechanical power over here is dropping. It's sitting at 151. Maybe it's going to be stable. 152. What about you? Yeah, you just keep making steam. I mean, I guess that's fine. You're, you're, you're using up so much coal. <laughs> it's so much coal. How's the flywheel power? No, fly, flywheel power is fine. Did we just accidentally nail it? This thing over here, for example, is not, not spinning. This one is idle. Okay. Uh, let's maybe try it from the other side. Um... Oh, look at this. These do take priority. Perfect. So we can just leave these over here. And if we do um, spike up in power, then the power plant over there will be fine. It still feels a bit tricky and still feels a bit finicky. Um, but that is looking good. That is looking mighty fine. And they are both working. But the thing over here is, and that's the thing I don't really understand. Where's all the steam going? <laughs> Where's all the steam high going? Unless we can... Oh, that makes no sense. I mean, we're using up... Okay, we are using up quite a bit. But I don't really understand why, why the boiler over here is just going ham, more or less. I mean, core consumption is, is just going to be insane with this one. And one would think that, that the, the, the steam high over here would then be stopped somewhere. Am I missing a thing? I must be missing a thing. Uh, that's the high pressure turbine. That's a flywheel. That is all of this. That's all of that. That is this. Then is that. Uh, transport belts is something at... We got pipe 2. That's nice. Pipe 2 has the higher throughput, which is really, really nice. Uh, we got also the large smokestack, which has... Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that would have been great over here. Um, water facility, retaining stations, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned that we are just burning through coal over here. Um, did you just pick up some coal? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no exporting. Um. <laughs> okay, out of balance, out of balance. So, what does this thing then do? Oh, now your output is full. I see, I see. Yeah, this is more what I want to see. So, what happened? I don't really understand. So, this thing over here is now slowly spinning down. 
because we don't need to spin it up anymore. We're still making power because the flying wheel over here is keeping the main shaft over here alive, uh, which is good. Uh, I guess once it's under this red marker over here, this one over here will start to spin up again. It's actually spinning up earlier. Ooh. And then, of course, over here, we use less coal. Okay, now I'm happy with this one. So, I guess this is fine. Yeah, now we're spinning it up again. And you're spinning it up again. Perfect. Auto balance? Great. Love it. Take it. <laughs> Good. Uh, which means we can now focus on our next project. Now, what's our next project going to be? Um, biofuel? Sounds kind of fun. Um, settlement power? We could maybe do a little bit more about our people. But I think the thing that we really, really need the most is steel. So get some steel smelting done. Yeah, let me just add all the stuff to the queue. Like settlement power, the burner over here. The burner we can use to burn trash. Um, not quite sure why we can't unlock you yet. Requires wheat seeds. Oh, we have to explore with our ship. Okay, I understand. Um, even more random edicts. I haven't even used. I haven't even put down here the 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 captain house yet. Let's do that real quick. And then the maintenance depot, deconstruction efficiency. Oh, that was the wrong button. Here we go. Here we go. And then for this we need advanced these weights. Ocean drilling technology. Oh, we need to discover an oil rig in the world to obtain this technology. Okay, I understand. So, I guess we have to splice up you a little bit. So, repair. Shipyard needs to be repaired first. Okay, shipyard. Repair. That is just a hundred parts. Good, we should have a hundred parts around. Fix this thing up. Maybe maybe we can do something about these containers over here that have just been like a little bit smudged. <laughs> Good, 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 good. We're still living in shacks, by the way. I do have the better houses. Uh, we could maybe just upgrade one of these. There we go. Here, become better. Uh, because then we can use the materials from over there. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. They did actually fix those containers. They're over there now. Good. Um. Oh. And now we can also design the ship. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but I guess we have to fix the ship first. There we go. Please fix that ship. Um, and then what can we do over here? Guns front. Nothing. Guns rear. Nothing. Ship engine. Mm, nothing. Ship bridge. We only have a bridge. Fuel tank. Armor. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how well they are going to be using this concept of the ship yet. Uh, but I do like it. It's It's fun. It's definitely a lot of fun. Good, uh, but let's fix up the boat. Okay, the boat is fixed. We can load the crew. Load crew. Unload crew. Okay, maybe not unload crew. Um, unloads fuel from ship. No. There should be fuel coming in. Um, yeah, you can also export. Yeah. Currently, this, this diesel plant over here is not really in use, so let's maybe also export over here a bit. Uh, we might need uh, a bigger diesel production. Sure. Tutorial world exploration. We're not going to read that. We're just going to do it on our own. <laughs> Good. Okay, we got the crew. Uh, oh, there's also the auto repair. I'm not quite sure why that is not already an auto repair, so put that in. Um, and I guess the only thing we need to do is to wait... Shipyard is overloaded of cargo. There's some gravel in here. Why is there gravel in there? Uh, there's some impure copper in there as well. Okay. Um, does that matter? What does this one do? Keep empty. Sure. Move it around, I guess. And maybe then we can get our fuel in? Question mark. Uh, I don't wait. Where are you going? Ah, I guess you're going over here. Yes, you are. Good, good, good. Well, we will probably figure out the ship sooner or later. Um, 
Still, um, maybe, maybe, maybe try to import a little bit more aggressive and see if we can get this fuel in. And then maybe the import, put it like on the higher priority, like priority five. And then let's see if we can get some fuel over here. In the meantime, let's have another quick peek over here at our power plant. Uh, it seems to be working fine. And our coal storage over there, it is dwindling a bit, but I guess we just need to dig faster. Um, we also have to move this uh, mine control tower over here. It will probably be sitting on this corner, and you can already see that there will be an entrance over here. Good. Now, these, these retaining walls over here, these are required once you start digging down. Um, so that you can have something like a vertical wall. I mean, you can already see over here, there is like something like a minimal slope you will have to have. Uh, and with these retaining walls over here, you can ignore that slope. Same over here. Um, though these over here hold them a little bit better, but with a retaining wall, it would just be up straight. Uh, but this over here should be fine. There might also be some, some accidents that can happen by like maybe mudslides or something like that. I'm not quite sure if that actually is a thing. Um, but this over here should be fine. We should probably also mark some more trees for the construction. Okay, we got those marked. Um, then let's mark some more. There we go. Good. So, did we get some fuel? Oh, we got some fuel. So, let me guess. We go here. Explore. Ship is on the way. Ah, it drives. Goodbye, ship. Have a good time. Good, 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 good. How far can we follow it? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, this is fun. So I guess we can't find other islands. Um, I guess once you run out of trees on this island, you just start harvesting trees from another island. I do know that you can also find enemies out there. I'm not quite sure how that will actually show off. For example... Oh, he's now exploring. Okay, I see. Um, so we have to wait for a bit. Um, so let's wait for that. In the meantime, research. Yeah, research is rolling. So we can just ignore that for a while. And watch these boys over here. I can see a lot of dirt over here. There is a lot of coal down there. I mean, we can just work on... It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, retaining walls. Oh, location export. Perfect. I'll just put down some of these walls real quick. One moment, please. I'll be right with you. Oh. Why can't we do this? Oh, is that because the resource is in the way? No way. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't matter. We can still dig it out however we feel fit. So let's have a look. You found... What did you find? What is this? A damaged cargo ship. This damaged cargo ship needs to be repaired before we can use it. Waiting for materials to deliver. So... How does that work? I guess the materials... Click to fetch the required materials onto the ship. Damage cargo ship. Start loading the ship. Okay, and then we can order it over here. So does the ship come back automatically? No. Um, still a bit confusing. But here should come a truck. No, you don't have any plates. You have plates? Nope. You have plates? Nope. Does anyone have plates? Come on. Bring me some plates. Ah, you got the plates. So, what do we do? Do we just... <laughs> do we put it in here and it magically appears over there? Do we have to call the ship back? Well, we will see. We will see. Uh, 100 more plates. Make that 80 more plates. I guess that's another 40. Yep, that's another 40. Um... We are a bit low on plates now. That's fine. This machine over here can start working again. Sure, sure, sure. And then the question is, do we get the second cargo ship? That would be amazing. Okay, 20 more. Mm, come on, come on. Is that you? Ah, uh, that's 11. Fuck. <laughs> Nine more. There we go. All cargo loaded. We can send the ship on its way. Um... So I guess we do have to go back, go home, pick up the stuff, and then come back over there. Okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. Tutorial, cargo ship. Not going to read that. We're going to figure it out. 
<laughs> it should be fine. It should be fine. Good, 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 good. I do like that. That Okay, we are, I think, almost at the end of our digging operation over here. Oh, yes, we are. So, before we go, let's have... Uh, no, the other way around, please. No. It's, 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 it's kind of confusing, this interface. Okay, now it's sloped. It's still sloped. Um, okay, now we can rotate it. That's going down. That's still going down. That's still going down. I think that's how we want it. Yes. Maybe. I have no clue. It's sometimes so confusing about this thing. And then... Just dig lower. <laughs> I guess that would be fine. Oh, did we make it too big again? That happens every now and then. Um, we almost made it bigger. Wait, edit area. It has to be... This area. There we go. There we go. And they should make a natural ramp going down here. Should. But we will see about that. So the ship is back over here. The ship should be loaded with uh, all the stuff that we need. We're going to send it back real quick. And then we're going to see what we will get from that. Maybe we do get like two cargo ships. Well, we do have... We can have multiple. I have no clue where we would even park those if we have multiples of them. Uh, but that's cool. But then we still need to find ourselves, like, an oil rig so that we can start digging up the oil that's over here in the middle. Also, um, I noticed when I was watching back my, uh, other episode the other day, uh, where I said this is our only oil over here. Nope, actually, <laughs> hiding over here in the woods, and I didn't see it as I was panning over it, is another little piece of oil. So if we do run out over there, we still have a little bit over there. Uh, but this thing over here is definitely running out. Look at that. Um, and if we click on it, yeah, it's only 23% left. And then, of course, we've got the big, big thingy over here. I think we can import and buy oil, but preferably I would not want to do that. Good. So deactivate this, deactivate that. Uh, this over here is coming together. They're having fun in the dirt. Uh, we're going to get some more coal. That is fine. And then the final part of the puzzle over here is... Okay. It still says one out of one ships, I guess. What? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, but I'm just going to go over here, explore. I mean, there's nothing left to do over here. Oh, we clicked with it again. Uh, okay, well, that will be it for today. Thank you so much for today. Uh, if you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of these actions will help me out in growing this channel to something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where I do even more in Factorio, GTFO, and RimWorld. Uh, and without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening. And until next time, see you around!